Assalamu alaikum, I am Jennifer Yasmin. Hello my dear students, how are you? I hope all of you are fit and fine. I am your science teacher. Welcome to my online class. Dear students, today I discuss with you chapter 8, Hygiene. Please take your science book and open your book, page number 58. In your last class, I discussed with you so, uh, Sorry, please open your book, page number 57 So in your last class, I discussed with you Health and disease What is disease? Keeping our body healthy Prevention of diseases, keeping the body clean, washing hands, using safe water, cleaning the environment. So, dear students, today I give you, uh, today I discuss with you fill in the blanks from your textbook, and I also give you some extra fill in the blanks. So, dear students who uh, didn't get this class, please uh, note down. Extra fill in the blanks. Okay. So all of you ready to read, ready to write. Okay. Number one. We may get sick when they enter into our body. We may get sick when they enter into our body. We may get sick when dash into our body. What we have to write here? We have to write here germs. We may get sick when germs enter into our body. Number two, to keep good health, we need to eat dash. To keep good health, we need to eat dash. To keep good health, we need to eat dish. So what we have to write here? We have to write here, balanced diet. To keep good health, we need to eat balanced diet. To keep good health, we need to eat balanced diet. Number three, we should put the waste or waste in dish or specific places. We should Put garbage or waste in dish or specific places. We should put garbage or waste in dish or specific places. So what we have to write here? We have to write here dust bin. We should put garbage or waste in dust bin or specific places. Number four, if we do not keep our body neat and clean, we will get dash. If we do not keep our body neat and clean, we will get dash. If we do not keep our body neat and clean, we will get dash. What we have to write here? We have to write here diseases. If we do not keep our body neat and clean, we will get disease. If we do not keep our body neat and clean, we will get diseases. Number five. There are dash germs all around us. There are dash germs all around us. There are dash germs all around us. What do you have to write here? We have to write here invisible. There are invisible germs all around us. There are invisible germs all around us. The germs can get into our bodies when we drink or eat dash water or food. The germs can get into our bodies when we drink or eat dash water or food. 
The germs can get into our bodies when we drink or eat dash water or food. So what you have to write here? You have to write here contaminated. You have to write here contaminated. Number seven. When germs dash in our bodies, we become ill. When germs dash in our bodies, we become ill. When germs dash in our bodies, we become ill. What you have to write here? We have to write here multiply. When germs multiply in our bodies, we become ill. When germs multiply in our bodies, we become ill. Number 8. Our body has natural ability to fight against dash. Our body has natural ability to fight against dash. Our body has natural ability to fight against dash. What you have to write here? You have to write here disease. Our body has natural ability to fight against disease. Nine. Germs can spread through dash such as mosquitoes and flies. Germs can spread through dash such as mosquitoes and flies. Germs can spread through dash such as mosquitoes and flies. What we have to write here? We have to write here insects. Germs can spread through insects such as mosquitoes and flies. Number 10. We need to take care of our body by keeping it dash and dash. We need to take care of our body by keeping it dash and dash. We need to take care of our body by keeping it dash and dash. What do you have to write here? We have to write here meat and dash. Clean. Neat and clean. We need to take care of our body by keeping it neat and clean. Okay. So, dear students, I hope you have finished your writing. Now, I discuss with you. Put a tick mark on the correct answer. Number one, what is a good habit to avoid getting sick? What is a good habit to avoid getting sick? What is a good habit to avoid getting sick? So dear students, uh, there are four options. A, eating lots of food. B, washing hands. C, sleeping late. D, eating uncovered food. So, which one, which one is right answer? Washing hands. The answer is washing hands. What is a good habit to avoid getting sick? Washing hands. Okay. Number two. What is an important way to maintain good health? What is an important way to maintain good health? So, the answer is... Taking enough sleep and rest. Taking enough sleep and rest. Taking enough sleep and rest. So, here are four options. I have two options for you. Uh, taking enough sleep and rest. Working hard. Taking a lot of medicine and eating too much. So, the answer is taking enough sleep and rest. So, dear students, in your textbook, case number 57, you can see uh, number 4, use arrows in the figure below to show the ways of spreading germs. So, you can see a picture of chair, cups, germs, books, a hand, a boy who is sneezing, and a boy who is close 
close his eyes uh, cover uh, cover her face uh, with her cover his face with his hands so dear students now what to do please note down today's homework learn fill in the blanks in cq from chapter 8 learn fill in the blanks in cq from chapter 8 so dear students next class i discuss with you short question uh, from chapter 8 what should you do after using toilets mention two ways to keep the environment clean give four good habits to prevent diseases where are the germs found and i also discuss with you why do we need a clean and bind to stay healthy so dear students now what to do If you have any inquiry, please contact with me. I hope you have finished your writing. Okay. Thank you.